Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. Today we are going to see how to connect a SAP system using MuleSoft SAP Connector Application Server Configuration. So there are two ways that we can connect SAP system using MuleSoft Connector. One is Application Server and other is Message Server. In this demonstration, we will just see the how we can connect to the SAP system using MuleSoft SAP Connector Application Server Configuration. So what is SAP Connector? The SAP Connector is basically used to receive and assign the IDOC towards the SAP system. To a, it also executes the BEPI function uh, or synchronously or asynchronously. So it can execute the remote BEPI function synchronously or asynchronously. So let's start. I will go to AnyPoint Studio. In AnyPoint Studio, I have uh, that. I let me remove this one. So in AnyPoint Studio, I have one application created and like you can see in my mule pallet the SAP connector is already there so by default SAP connector is not available in your mule pallet so you can go into uh, you can look into exchange so search you can provide your AnyPoint account search for SAP connector once you type SAP it will list down all the uh, artifact related to SAP so and you will see SAP connector 4 at the top simply uh, select that and add it into selected module and say finish so once you say finish it will automatically install a uh, SAP connector into mule pallet so if you see there are you know like around 8 to 9 operations available a synchronous remote function call confirm transaction document listener function listener get function retrieve idocs and idocs start SAP transaction and synchronous remote function call so in this demo we will just see the connection so we can use any of the operation so we will not go in, into detail we will you know connection is one of the important task in this uh, demonstration or like yeah so I will simply call synchronous uh, remote function call okay let me go to configuration element and you know let me remove this old configuration I will go to configuration uh, let me go to remote function call I will do the fresh connector configuration click on this add button and we require these three libraries IDOC library GSU library and the GSU native library so these are some jar file DLL files that we required so how can we get it so basically you can get those files from the SAP marketplace what are those files let me show you so as uh, this is one file SAP idoc 3.jar this is one file SAP GCU 3.jar and SAP GCU .dar DLL it's a native GCU file or it this can uh, whenever you are deploying application to Windows you require this file whenever you're deploying application to Linux you require lib SAP GCU 3.so file if you are deploying your application to Mac operating system you will require lib SAP GSU 3.jn lib file okay so let's start doing configuration simply I will click on config local file browse I will say SAP IDOC 3 okay it's configured GSU library browse GSU 3 okay now the native library this is one of the important library so I will give some concept behind that now DLL file it's a windows I will use DLL file okay like uh, GCU native library we have used DLL file for this connection but if you are using the Linux server you have to use dot so file if you're using the uh, Mac OS you have to use the JN leaf file other thing when you are deploying your application to cloud up okay you have the GCU native library file should be dot so file lib sap gsu 3 dot so file because the cloud of workers are running on the linux server if you uh, if you pointed uh, gsu native library to dll and try to deploy application into the cloud of cloud of, it will fail and giving the error something related to gsu library doesn't initialize or gsu library doesn't found in library such kind of error you will get so please make sure uh, you when you are deploying application to cloud of you use dot so file when you are deploying application on premise windows server use dot dll file okay now i have to do the other configuration uh, as i mentioned for connecting application server uh, we require username password sap system number client id and application server host so for me all this parameter has been defined in the properties file okay so i will use you know some key to access those value or access those key values okay sap dot username
dollar let me show password sap dot password sap dot system number sap dot client id and i will give the application server host dollar sap dot host i will i will test the connection just just okay so let me again open that configuration sap configuration and simply say test connection okay the test connection of successful so we are able to connect sap system successfully using the application server configuration if you want to do the message server configuration you can go to message server configuration you know edit inline and provide those properties so we will not going to use this okay i will simply say okay let me go to flow so once you have configured the sap you know uh, connections it will try to retrieve all this function name from sap system all this metadata and even if you put the transform message in the front of sap system or in the this sap connector you will see input metadata uh, like uh, okay and if you put the sap transform or transformation in uh, like uh, at the end of the sap synchronous function call you will see the output metadata of sap it generated automatically and it will list down all the functions available in the sap right now we will not going to see that okay so we just have to uh, we have just established the connection with sap system and in uh, you, you will notice like there are some changes happen in pom.xml you will see under mule maven plugin these three libraries has been added uh, like com.idoc3 sap gcu3 sap gcu3 uh, that is native library that is gcu library and that is the idoc library even if you see there are three dependency has been added okay so whenever you will build the package uh, it will automatically uh, you know uh, take those file into in the build just make sure when you are deploying application to the cloud up the gcu native library must be leave leave sap gcu3.so okay i hope you like this video thanks for watching